Hello everyone, welcome to this fifth episode in a series of videos we are creating to provide an end-to-end -end demo of Microsoft Fabric. Across this series, we're aiming to show off as many features as possible across both the data engineering and data science experiences in Fabric. We also want to show how Fabric can be combined with selected services on Azure to deliver DevOps principles with the objective of releasing features rapidly and safely lowering the cost of ownership and sustaining value over the long term. Now in this video, we're going to focus specifically on the observability of data engineering processes in Fabric. As a reminder, our goal for this data product is to create a Power BI report that allows users to interactively explore passenger data from the Titanic to, extend, to understand patterns in survival rates. To achieve this goal, we are adopting a medallion architecture to ingest, process, and project the data by promoting it through the bronze, silver, and gold areas of the lake. Now we're doing the majority of the data engineering work in Fabric Notebooks. And in a previous video, we described all the reasons we love notebooks, but we also pointed out there are some potential pitfalls to avoid. And one of those pitfalls is observability. What we mean by this is that notebooks when they're used in an operational setting, can be doing a lot of work, but there's little of vis visibility of what's going on inside the notebook. And this lack of a feedback loop um, can mean that you don't have that reassurance that the notebook is performing its intended role. And then when things go wrong, it can also be a struggle to determine why the notebook has failed. To address this, we're going to adopt the following approach. Firstly, we want to adopt the principle of consciously generating telemetry at key stages in our notebooks to provide that visibility that we're looking for. To do this, we're going to use try and use standard logging functionality, and then to gather that logging and telemetry that we're generating into a central repository so, that, so we can observe activity across our whole data state in one place. And the tools we're going to use in this example are the Python logging module, which comes out of the box with Python and Azure application insights. So let's head over to fabric and we can walk you through this approach and the demo and demo the solution in action. So firstly, to help us do this logging in a consistent way, we've defined a create logger function in a central utility notebook. So a few things to observe here. Firstly, we're using the built-in Python logging package to generate our, our telemetry. We're also going to use the open census log handler for Azure to enable any logs we generate to be streamed directly into a central instance of application insights on Azure. And we'll show you that later on. And that connection to application insights is a secret, which we stored in another Azure service called Key Vault. And we use this very handy notebook util, utils utility to connect to Key Vault and retrieve the secret. Once we've done that, we can then set up the logger. So we've got a function here called create logger. And what we do in there is we uh, name the source, uh, make sure the name, the source of the logs is the same as the name of the notebook from which the log has been generated. So it creates that trace, traceability. We also set a consistent logging level. In this case, we've chosen uh, to log up to info. Um, we set here, you can see how we're setting up the Azure log handler so that all of the logs are being streamed into that central instance of application insights on Azure. And also we're, we're setting up a consistent format for the logs messages so that, you know, wherever we're logging from, it, it's got the same look and feel. Then we can put this into use. So let's move over to one of our notebooks. So in this case, we're looking at the validate location uh, notebook. Um, we've looked at this in the past. So if you want to see more details about this, go and have a look at some of the previous videos. But the purpose of this notebook is to read some data for raw data from the bronze area of the lake house, validate it, clean it, standardize it, and then write it to the silver area of the lake house. And what we do here is to use the, the kind of functionality I showed you earlier, we use a percent run magic command. We run that utility logging notebook, and that gives us now access to that create logger function. Um, and we use this to set up a logger and all, all of that complexity is abstracted away. We know, but if we're using this utility um, create logger method, that we're going to be uh, streaming to application insights, our logs will automatically contain the name of this notebook, 
and it will be in that sort of consistent format that we want to see across all of our logging. And then we can see how we use it, it, it at various points in this notebook. Here's a great example where we're logging uh, inside a try except structure to catch any exceptions we, we, we encounter in this case, loading the raw data from bronze. Uh, and just to add that sort of extra context and information, um, where we've got a log there. And then even if the, the process succeeds, we also generate telemetry just to enhance that, that overall observability of the process. And then if we navigate now over to application insights on Azure, and we search for these transactions in Azure, we can see that they've been captured centrally. They've all got the consistent format. You can see, um, they're all logged here. Um, as a severity level of information, which is what we chose when we, we created these logs. And that provides the continuous monitoring and feedback that we're looking for. It allows us to ensure that our data products are performing well. It allows us to identify issues that may be cropping up early and make, you know, informed decisions for ongoing continuous improvement. Now, as you've seen, this approach is founded, uh, by integrating Fabric with some underlying uh, services on Azure, in this case, Application Insights and Key Vault. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is show you how to deploy these resources by applying another data ops principle, which is infrastructure as code. So that's it for now. Please don't forget to hit like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe uh, to our channel if you want to keep following our content. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.